Welcome to Gig Harbor Performance Bike Shop. Uh, just rebuilding the 426 downhill over there. Uh, I've got the KX500 for sale. It's a 2001 KX500. Um, you know, we rode it this summer a little bit. Uh, my buddy Tyler, he, he was going to buy it this, this winter, but he just, you know, just couldn't pull the funds together. He has financial priorities. Troubles. Had some financial troubles. But anyway, uh, it's for sale. Um, i got the seat inside. It's got a small rip on it, but I um, told everybody I was going to do a uh, you know air filter, fresh gas, plug, oil change, just kind of go through everything. It's got a fresh sprocket, front and rear, a nice X-ring chain, really nice X-ring chain, it's like 100 bucks, you know. Um, through a new tire and a tube on the front. Yeah, the front tire has probably like 10 hours on it, you know, we haven't really ridden the thing much, it's just, um, yeah, it was nice once we changed the, the fluids and put a plug in it, started second kick, it's never fouled the plug, but you know, we just did it. This so, gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to start the sandals here, just because it worked so good last time when it was on our shoes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there, there's a weird, you know, there's a lot of people say these are hard to start bikes, but... This is actually one of the easier to start 500s, because I have a couple of CRs, um, but it just, the way that the, the Kickstarter is on the bike, it's just easier to kick. So we're going to go choke on. That's uh, one of the reasons a lot of people get scared away from 500s. Is a couple of prime kicks, but if you really have a leg on it, you can really do this. It's not that bad. 